your first Alert 5 weather with Sam Schreier. Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. It is 45 degrees under blue sky in Colorado Springs. Now, I said today would be kind of a more classic fall day, and I hope you know what I meant. If you go outside, it is a little cool out there, but since the sun's coming down, as long as you're in like a jacket or a sweater, this isn't that bad. You know the thing that helps the most? The wind is not that strong. Out there it's south, 7 miles per hour, 9 miles per hour, so easy going. In Woodland Park, 46 with a light wind as well, so it's one of those days where Woodland Park, kind of about the same temperature, if not a little warmer, kind of up above some of the chilly air that's sunk into Colorado Springs. Pueblo, very similar temperature to Woodland Park, 47 degrees. Another situation where that cold air kind of seeks down into the valleys, out into the plains at found Pueblo. And Trinidad, a little bit better by a degree. Fisher's Peak looking beautiful under blue sky, and we have a light wind, 48 degrees. Temperatures, so some of the warmest air around is over by Alamosa, which is impressive because you were so cold this morning. And then we're out towards the 50 degree mark in La Junta Lamar back in towards Springfield. So overall, feeling pretty good. Not a lot of wind on the map, which is the nice thing about today. And you know what? Friday, it's going to be a very similar wind field, probably a little bit more of a westerly pull off the mountains, but it won't be that strong. And if we don't have a lot of wind, that always makes it a little bit more pleasant to be outside. Now, there is a chance of some moisture for Saturday, although I got to say, it doesn't look overly promising to me quite yet. And part of the reason is this is still spinning off of the Alaskan coast, off the Pacific coast. Once this low pressure center can get closer to the United States, more data can be fed into it and our models will start to paint a better picture. But by now, there is a little less uncertainty. So what are we doing in the extended? Well, I still have to give us a chance of a rain to snow on Saturday, but as I've mentioned, I'm not overly uh, concerned about it here. I do think it would come mostly in the evening from what I see right now, and it would be a rain first, and we might be able to turn some of this to snow Saturday night into very early Sunday morning. Next week does look pretty good from Monday through Wednesday, and then there could be a snow chance towards next Thursday. So we will see towards the end of next week. Pueblo, I've got you basically at about 70 for the next two days. Saturday looks really good, too, because that cold front will come through after the peak heating, after we hit 68, and it would be mostly a rain, light showers, or just kind of a steadier rain Saturday evening through fairly early Sunday morning. Canyon City would be very similar. I did drop you a degree on Saturday compared to Friday. Could see a little rain and maybe a wintry mix Saturday into Sunday morning, but, you know, we'd have to get pretty cold for that to happen. Finally, Woodland Park, those mountains going to help you out a little bit. I think that we do have a chance of light snow Saturday. It's not a great chance, but it is in the forecast, and we'll be able to tighten that up, I think, tomorrow.